everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Shiori. I always show videos on how to make clothes. If you are interested in free sewing pattern, check out my playlist. So today I will talk about a pattern for perfect fitting. I am sure that you have ever got on the pattern but doesn't fit on you. Even if you have a same bust size, waist size, your height is different, so bone structure is different, right? It's so disappointing when you have spent a lot of money, time using your favorite fabrics, then only to find that your clothes doesn't fit on you and uncomfortable to wear it. To avoid it, let's take your favorite pattern and make more perfect one just for you. Today, I will show you how to adjust the shoulder waist on the pattern using the fluid pattern number 15 wrap dress. Shoulder waist or shoulder line is very important point of clothes, and if it does not fit nicely here, it's not really comfortable to wear and it does not look good. This dress was originally made with narrow shoulders, but I have recently started shoulder exercise, so my shoulder will be growing in the future. I know that your body shape will always change over the course of your life, so let's study the pattern to make it perfectly fit your size. I will be using the free pattern number 15 dress. You can get this here in my playlist or click on the link from there. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel when you do. I need to tell you that this dress has a narrow shoulder and features a body. The narrow shoulder are covered by puff sleeves with a lot of gathers as shown in the illustration A. Normally, the shoulder width is made wider as the illustration in B, and that dress responds to the shape and the movement of the shoulder without much shoulder gathers. However, unless it is a neat fabric, at least one cent of gathering is included in each of the front and the back. Now, for a perfect fit, you need to have a cloth of practice made first. Put on the cloth and figure out how much you need to adjust the shoulders. It sounds difficult, but you will success. I have had a dress made before, so I will use that as a basis for my consider. For you, just assemble the upper body and consider it in front of a mirror. In my case, I need to cover this shoulder roundness. In fact, those puff sleeves should originally fall down like this. So I will draw the original assumed silhouette. You all should actually move the fabric around and check it while looking in the mirror, not in photo. If you do so, the shoulder line will inevitably look like this. Figure out how many centimeters the shoulder tip needs to move. In my case, I decide to be 2 cm. Okay, now let's modify the pattern. Extend the shoulder line by 2 cm. My pattern also includes a seam allowance line, so be careful not to get confused. Extend the front 2 cm in the same way. Next, draw the new armhole. There is a dot on the armhole line, so close the dots temporarily to make it easier to work with. Draw the shape of the armhole line. Well, I try again, cause I don't like it very much. Okay, new line is better. So, draw the front side as well. Here will be the armpit. It would be better not to change this line too much, as it would be very difficult to change in it. You can also use a curve ruler like this one. It will help you draw the pattern. Once you have drawn it, measure the length of the original line and the new line. The original back sleeve line was 22.8 cm, and new line is 21.8 cm, changing by 1 cm. So you may measure the line of the front sleeve. 
So original sleeve line was 21 cm and the new line is 20 cm so changing by 1 cm On this information, let's modify the sleeve design. As with the body, the sleeve should not be changed along the armpit. Instead, we adjust the length of the sleeve line by changing the height of the shoulder. Measure the sleeve line as well. Since the sleeve line is 2 cm smaller than the original line, the amount of gathering will be larger. Of course, you can leave it as it is, but we will change the pattern so that the same amount of gathers are used. So lower the shoulder high a little. If the design has a lot of gathers like this dress, there is no need to worry even if the length is slightly different from the target length. Retouch the seam allowance and cut the pattern. Also, undo the dots that were temporarily closed. Okay, it's done, all finished. I hope this helps you understand how to widen your shoulder. I will make another video about perfect fitting someday. Now, I will try again to make wrap dress using this pattern next time. Please look forward to it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So, see you next time. Bye!